Welcome hey, to my fourth installment of the presentation, Breaking the Surface hey, Presentation by me, myself, and I, Will. A recap. For those who have not seen my previous presentations on this topic, there is an imposter among us. We don't know who it is, but it's one of these, most likely one of these five glorious faces. <laughs> we don't know who it is, but we know who it isn't. Skur, he's confirmed dead, we've seen his body. And uh, Roy right here, he escaped prison and you know, he's wounded, he's probably not the traitor, I would hope. Uh, traitor, that means that there's only three options left, these three glorious faces here. But we can narrow it down from this point. First case, we have a gas axon, he's fully magical. Cause he doesn't like magic, therefore we can reasonably say he's not the traitor. That means we have two left, these two glorious faces. So let's look at them side by side. Annie Lee, uh, she's prone to aggression, doesn't follow orders. Uh, she wears pink and you know, she knows where to get bullets from. That's kind of suspicious. Um, but then Blackjack, she's an alcoholic, drinks specifically whiskey, um, uh, higher up in the section of the flock, although she's supposedly dead. Now, who is it? Uh, how do we know which is the traitor? How do we know anything is true? Uh, why not let's look? How do we know it's not both of them? I give you two options. Option one, they are both the traitors. Now, this might sound a little bit similar for Amy's in you know, particular. Um, they're both the traitors. You know, they're going back and forth at each other, like acting like they hate each other to throw off suspicion. Amy, this sounds familiar because it's exactly what Brandon and I did in our Minecraft world. Um, you remember that, right, Amy? You died instantly, yeah. Yeah. Um, option two, one of them is the traitor. And I think, that is Blackjack. Amy, this I think is Blackjack. She's from Cosney, she wears Cosney colors. Uh, she's supposed to be dead, but we haven't found a body yet. Uh, Gas Axon in a letter to us said, hey, Blackjack's dead. No further information, just, hey, she's dead. Uh, she knows a lot about alchemy, which is, the Cosney people seem kind of okay with alchemy. They don't like magic, but they, they drink potions before we've seen them. Uh, she has a lot of secrets. Uh, she knows how to fight and uh, how war, or like wars work, which is kind of, you know, Cosney related. Um, she told us to go to Belen, so I guess someone who we trust, who's magic, told us to go somewhere else, so like that's kind of sus. Uh, she probably the traitor. Finn. Except it's not. <gasps> the finale. Neck chips. A dead man switch. And mind games. This is not a clue game, people. I'm not accusing a killer here. Yeah, I think this is what's gonna happen in the finale of the, of the, of the, of the, of the game, let's call it. The finale, neck trips. Amy, you remember neck trips? Uh, they will most likely activate, instantly kill everyone around us, you know, hundreds, maybe even thousands of people. Um, or we might find Deja's daughter, she might have one. And then, boom, everyone with the neck chip just turns against us. I'm with my dad, Deja and his daughter, subject from PTSD, because that basically is a neck chip. Um, and then Akari protecting the halfling girl and the twins who are lobotomized, which is womp womp. Uh, dead man switch. Does anybody here know what a dead man switch is? I got it. One nod. A uh, dead man switch is basically you click the button and it doesn't go off. You let go of the button, everything goes off, which is not good. So I think some higher up, maybe the trader, maybe the doctor even, uh, will be holding the dead man switch. You know, they click the button. They're like, hey, if I let go of the button, bad things will happen. The neck chips might be set off. Uh, and then we need to be like, oh crap, if we kill them, they let go of the button, everything bad happens. Uh, and so, you know, let's say let go of it, we need to escape. Cause like, let's say roof caves in, we're underground, that's bad news bears. Uh, mind games, this ties in with the dead man switch. Uh, let's say the doctor, Amy is giving away that the doctor loves to play mind games with us. Um, and so let's say, you know, doctors just sit in a room with the dead man switch, like, hey, I let go of this, everyone in here dies. That's a pretty messed up mind game, but the doctor would do it. Amy would 100% do that to her players. Um, and the doctor's just there examining us like mice in a maze, which is not good if you ask me. Uh, Finn, except it's not. I think I know who the doctor is. And I'm not telling you guys, thank you, I'm kidding. Um, who the doctor is. The doctor put a device in Cedric. Uh, the doctor wears red, is an alchemist, is cunning, smart, has a lot of secrets, and is from Cosney. Anyone, anyone remind you of the, that description there? First we connected the dots. <laughs> then, 
Once connecting the dots, you might start reading between the lines of reality, trying to find more secrets after connecting them. And then you finally find a tether to reality. And that they're all of that, they're finding all the secrets, finding all the answers. You finally break the surface. Everyone, I think that Blackjack is the doctor. <gasps> Makes sense. Boom. See you soon. That is what written was on Cedric's collarbone. Uh, and it was underneath, for those that don't know, Cedric is a frog, Cedric does magic. Cedric had a little bit of metal in his chest. Um, and the problem with metal in your chest is that it stops you from doing magic. We all know this, this is pretty common knowledge. <laughs> um, and Cedric escaped from Cosme, the bad people, got part of the metal remo removed, but not all of it. Uh, and Blackjack was one of the people who took out the metal. And See You Soon was written in there, which is not the sort of thing you want written on your collarbone. Uh, I think somewhere here, maybe not. Somewhere here, I don't have a slide explaining this because this was thrown together two nights ago. But essentially, Blackjack is the doctor. She is alchemy, she's smart, she's from Cosmic, she's wears red. And Amy, a few months ago, slipped the gender of the doctor, saying she instead of they when addressing them. Therefore, I think Blackjack is the doctor. Thank you all for coming to my presentation.